well, hello. Happy Friday. Although it's not that happy of a Friday, it's very dull, very overcast. And it looks like it might rain at any minute. But having said that, I'm here. It's been a manic last couple of days. The dogs have been barking, people coming and going. I just can't settle to make a video when it's like that. I really can't. But here I am. Oh, you'd be glad to know I have actually made an uh, appointment for opticians because I can't even see the viewfinder on the camera, so I don't even know what I'm pointing at. So I've gone with boots this time instead of uh, spec savers because I can't say I was that enamoured. Spec savers is a bit like a conveyor belt, so I'm just hoping that boots is, is a bit better. Anyway, I have finished said cardigan. It's got its buttons on. If you want to know what the pattern was, you have to look at my last video or the last one but one. I forgot to bring it in with me. So it's all finished, yeah. It's just a box standard cardigan, but at least it's not a boring colour like the other one was. Anyway, at the moment I'm crocheting black. <laughs> me with no eyes, you know, crocheting black, but having said that, you yeah, know, whatever. So what have I been doing? Well, I've been buying books. I can't do the review of them all today. I will do the newest one first because that is a new book. It's not a second hand to me book. I'll do that one first. It's called Bohemian Blooms by Jane Crowfoot, who is also known as Jamie Crow. Uh, they are gorgeous, gorgeous granny squares, but I will not be doing an afghan. So those of you who think I'm going to be doing an afghan, think again. You know me, an afghan. I would rather go and sit with a load of snakes. But, having said that, or spiders, because I don't like them either. Right, let me see what I can see. The squares are lovely, and I am thinking, lovely squares, handbag, bohemian handbag, jacket. Of course, if I make it, it will be for me, because nobody will buy it, so what the heck. I think I've decided that if I made a whole wardrobe full of beige, I'd have more success. Because that would just... <laughs> drive me insane the answer to that is no I think I'll just stay poor and make what I want to make Yeah. right the beginning of this is all where she gets her inspiration from blah de, blah de, blah we haven't actually got to any of the squares yet oh that's one of them that's one of the ones she uses for the edging you can see it. I can't see what you can see because I can't see a tap. So I'm just aiming it at the camera and hoping for the best, yeah? <laughs> oh, it's great when you can't see anything. That's another circle. As you can see, very, very pretty, but no way would I have the dedication. It finishes up, that one. Finishes up as a square. You see, I visualise things differently than other people. Other people look at granny squares and think Afghan or whatever. I don't. I look at granny squares and think jacket, handbag. <laughs> it's just the way my mind works. My mind does not run along Afghans. Blankets, whatever you want to call them. Afghan's a posh word, isn't it, for a blanket, yeah. It's a lovely book and it has got some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous squares in them, in it. Look at that one. But all that work, unless it's for yourself and you know you're going to put it on your sofa and you're going to use it, I wouldn't bother because half of the time you give it to people and they do not appreciate the work that's gone into it. And what do they do? They give it away to a charity shop. The number of blankets you see in charity shops is heartbreaking. There we go. 
You know, you think somebody's grandma or mum has put all that time and effort, all that money. And what do the people do? Hmm, don't want that. Doesn't go in my decor. So they chuck it in a charity shop. None of mine are going to finish up in the charity shop because I'm not going to make any. <laughs> I can foresee Hamlet's. I was talking with my friend B. Roberts and she saw this fantastic sort of um, YouTube videos where this woman upcycles things and makes bang ones, you know, with lace and everything. Those like bohemian type. And she does bohemian bags and everything, mostly sewing with bits of uh, ribbons and, and I was like, oh yes. That is me to a T. Yeah, yeah, that is me. You know me, I love my big beads. What am I wearing today? Well, I'm wearing a cardigan that I made quite some time ago. It's in cotton, so of course it's lasted forever and a day. With a purple dress that's many years old. So that's what I'm wearing. I can't remember the pattern. It's in one of my books. Which, if you've seen my video showing you my lounge, you will know how many books I have got. So, at the moment, I can't tell you. If you really, really want to know, I'll try and find out. But it was in a book, it's not a single leaflet. Right, what else did I get? Um, I got this one. It says, Massive Savings, £3. I don't think I paid £3 for it, but never mind. Mini Makes Crochet. Um, I don't know what's in this because I think you're looking at it at the same time as me. I just felt like I was just having a depressed day. And I wanted to treat myself without spending too much cash, if you know the feeling. <laughs> we all know that feeling, don't we? But you know, when you want to cheer yourself up and you know you don't go and buy any yarn because you've got a bucket full. So you think, what can I buy that's cheap? Now, normally I buy necklaces. But boy, oh boy, have they put the prices up on eBay. I think somebody must watch my videos and think, Janet's a fool, she'll pay £7 for this necklace. No, she won't, yeah. Well, honestly, this is half of the book, is how to and what not, and how to crochet. Let's get to the real McCoy. Let's get to the bit where they're actually making something. These kind of books are alright if you can't crochet because look half of the book is just how to use so yeah. it. Right we're on projects now. Oh well I know I said I like necklaces but that's a bit pathetic isn't it? A string with a few beads thrown in it that's a bit pathetic. Stripe washcloths which I would use personally but my daughter-in-law wouldn't. So if I put one of those in the kitchen it'll probably get thrown away. Bunting. Very, very basic, isn't it? Very basic bunting. I've got patterns from much nicer bunting than that. Flower garland. What have we got? Do you know I cannot get my baskets to stand up? I've got some bases, a bit like Crochet Rock's got bases, for like handbags, you know, like the leather ones. Whether I will make anything, I don't know. I can't. My tension isn't tight enough to get the baskets to actually stand up. Yeah. Flower pin cushion. It's all right if you sew and you leave your pins about. I dare it with the dogs to get them in their paws. Poofs. Ship hazards. A fruit bowl. I mean, even that looks a bit wobbly, doesn't it? It's not very inspirational, this book. A chunky rug. I did make a rug once. Kept tripping over it, yeah. <laughs> I trip over anything. Eyelashes, anything. Intarsia cushion. Now, I like intarsia. I must have a go at making some more intarsia. But, of course, knowing me, it will be in a garment. Not a cushion. Oh, here we are. Another cushion. How boring is that? Oh, not very inspirational this book, is it? 
Now I don't love six bag, I want to make myself a cardigan like that. There's a lady, um, she has made a few YouTube videos called Stevie by the Sea. She's made a lot of zigzag cardigans and zigzag sweaters, yeah. Foam cover. I did make one of those one time, but every time I wanted to answer it, I was faffing about trying to undo the button. The collar had rang off by the time I undid the button. Coin purses. You need to line them, otherwise your coins would be on the floor. Oh my giddy aunt. Who would subject their baby to that? <laughs> no. Not with a point on top of its head, poor little thing. Boring hat with ear flaps. I cannot wear a beret or a barrette, as my auntie used to call them. She insisted they were called barrettes. Broomstick lace crochet, that's another thing I, can't, I haven't mastered. Mine looks like an unholy mess whenever I do it. I can't get my tension right. We're back to the old, you know, what do you call it? Neurological problems with my hand, yeah. Now I might make those ladies' wrist warmers. I have to wear my wrist warmers over a pair of fine gloves because my fingers get too cold, yeah. Tweed stitch cowl. Very boring. All right for a beginning. Oh, seagulls are having a fight outside. Child's mittens with string. I'm sure you all remember your mother making you wear a string to your mittens, yeah? Baby boy booties. Now, they actually don't look bad. I would actually have an attempt at those if I had any baby boys. And baby girl ones. They're more like... I was going to say Baby Jane, but they're not called Baby Jane, are they? What did they call them? Something Jane shoes, aren't they? Men's chunky socks. Well, if he gets his boots on or his shoes on over that, that'll be a good one. You know. I have made crochet socks, but they have no giving them whatsoever. You can't, can't get them over your feet. They're all great for bed socks. They're great for bed socks. Ladies' ankle socks. I have several pairs of knitted socks that I never wear. <laughs> I think I told you before I've got neurological problems with my feet, so I feel that all the little ridges of the pearl stitches, yeah. That's quite pretty, but I have no success whatsoever with baby cardigans and things. Mums don't put their children in baby crochet or knitted things anymore. It's all got to be the latest trend, haven't it? Otherwise they don't want to know. Little hooded jacket. And a, a nice little dress that I would put on a little girl, but obviously I'm old fashioned. A straw beach bag, which looks very, very flopsy. You'd have to line it very well to make it have any substantial usage. Put your shopping in there. Oh, and these string bags, I mean, for goodness sake. I made one once and it finished up dragging on the floor because by the time you put anything in them, that's what happens to them. And a hanging toy basket. If you can get your child to hang his toys up or her toys up, you're a good one. I think we're on the last one now. Oh, I'm a good movie. What toy? Whatever you want to call them. Where did Amigurumi come from? Is it Japanese or something? They're just toys, aren't they? Crochet toys. Animal battles. I think that's it. Well, I would make the little baby shoes out of that, because you might stand the chance of somebody actually wearing the baby shoes. This is another book that's almost identical to the one I showed you the other day. It looks nice and coloured on the front cover, but when you look inside, it's all green pictures. And it's almost identical to the book I bought the other day, but it looked different because it had a different cover. So once again, I get drawn into buying something that I can't read because it's grey on grey and I can't read it until I get the eyes. 
Right, the next one is called Easy Crochet Accessories. It doesn't say who it's from. Fashionable Projects for the Novice Crochet. Oh yes, yeah, by Carol Meldrum. Not this Meldrum. Oh, <laughs> I opened the book and it cracked. Easy Crochet Accessories. That reminds me very much of a sweet little thing that I sort of watch sometimes in America and she is making a pattern and she's making it and it is exactly like that yet yeah, she's designed it um, not in any fancy stitch or anything and she's, could, you can wear it as a headband you can wear it as a I think, oh my god where do they get their ideas from? do they think we're all stupid? Oh, well. <sighs> anybody can do a long length and call it a belt you don't need a pattern for that. Sometimes they make me laugh, you know, it's like reinventing the wheel, isn't it? And I'm looking at them thinking, oh my god, you know, that is not fashionable, that is as old as the hills. I made belts like that when I was learning how to crochet without a pattern. You know, and yet I hope she's not going to try selling the pattern. Because who's going to pay for that? Obviously some mug. Right. Again, we've got all that at the beginning, which is just how to. A stash bag. If you've ever made handles like that without having any support, you will know that it doesn't work. Yeah. Now, I do like that, but... It's just because I like the stitch and I like the colours, yeah. You'd have to line it once again. Don't make a bag unless you're going to line it. A bulb bag. That looks absolutely pointless to me. <laughs> I'm in a negative mood, can't you tell? Pointless. Oh, gosh. A big shopping bag. Now, unless you did something with those handles, again, you'd be dragging your shopping on the floor. Yeah? You have to support handles. You cannot just crochet handles because they just go like that. Oh, dear. Project number five, an evening purse. Now, the lady I was watching in the video, she's made some absolutely fantastic ones, but they are made of fabric and they've got lace and everything and beaded and everything. That is my kind of an evening purse, yeah. Quick and easy, throws and cushions. Oh, here we go again. We're back on the blanket again. Oh. One extremely boring blanket. Softly textured cushion. You can see the cushion. That's right. No. Project a ruffle throw. No, it's very, very holy. Very, very holy. Ugh, another cushion. Funky floor cushion. Now it wasn't a floor cushion, that's more my up my street. You know, brightly well not brightly colours, but they are different colours, yeah. Quick and easy, hats, mittens and belts. Pointed pixie hat. Oh boy. I would love to wear that. Striped beanie. Here we go. Mock cable belt. Well, at least this has got a pattern stitch on it, which is more than the sweet little young thing's belt did. And a granny square belt. Oh, boy. Quick and easy wraps and garments. 
shoulder shot. Oh my goodness, that is so thick. A pico mesh wrap. That's so thick. And yet it's got so many holes in it, it can't be worn. Lace evening wrap, that's done in circles. I wouldn't say that was a beginner's pattern. I've yet to discover how you link 